my friend welcome back this is one of my favorite subjects here within all realms of reality all aspects of reality manifestation all the laws of the universe and it is confidence if you want to get the greatest sp you want to have the greatest girlfriend boyfriend marriage whatever situation you want to date multiple freaking people you want to make the most money you want to be the best at what you do you want to succeed in life you have to have confidence confidence is the key above all things in my opinion i even like the term confidence for relationships for anything everyone likes to say oh you know we have to have good communication we have to have good trust yes this is very true but take it to a whole nother level you should be confident within everything that you are doing confident in your relationship confident in your health confident in your business confident in your job confidence is key so how do you attain this confidence how did i obtain the confidence that i have growing up i was very bullied i was made fun of i was not freaking cool i was not in shape i just i no that was not me but i still really knew who I was. I enjoyed it, but I definitely knew that I was lacking confidence. And here's the thing. Over time, I decided whatever I did, whoever surrounded myself with, I still wanted to make sure I was taking care of myself first. I was doing right by me always. So confidence needs to first always be for yourself. It needs to come from self. It needs to be of self. Confidence is all about you and you have to be one within that confidence if you are looking for outside validation to make you feel more confident you will never be confident confidence has to come from within so you've heard me talk about this a lot before attaching yourself to a character the law of character as a kid i had so many action figures i had so many characters i wanted to be and I would tap into that energy throughout my whole life. In the last decade, I would say, I really, really took this to a whole new level, attaching myself to this energy of being these characters and being the absolute best that I could be. And the thing is, when you have this confidence, at first it is kind of like a fake it till you make it confidence where you're doing the best you can. You just, you're like, okay, I'm going to be like, whoever this person is, they seem very confident. They seem powerful. They seem charming. They seem great. I want to be like them. So what do you do? You fake it till you make it and you act like that person till eventually you get to a point where you automatically start to live this way. You automatically start to do this. The more that you can believe that you are incredible, that you are the best of the best, I mean, you really, you have to affirm so strongly that there is no one better than you, that you are so good, that you can do this, that you are the best looking, that you are the funniest, the smartest, the most charismatic, the most charming. You have to believe it and you have to say it. And then that belief eventually becomes a solid knowing. Because remember, belief always holds room for doubt. You have to know that you are the freaking best. About two years ago, I started doing this when my wife and I would go to the gym. I was like, you know what? I'm still, I want to be the man. I'm still the man. Everywhere I go, every woman is looking at me. Every woman wants to be with me. I want to feel like this, you know, because I mean, my wife, she's gorgeous. She's going to get attention all the time and she always does. And I thought, you know what? I want that attention. I want to feel that. I want to know that. I want to feel that. I am Hercules. Why not? Why can't I be that? And I started saying that day after day. I wasn't looking, though, for any validation. I wasn't looking for any women to say anything, to even look at me. I just, I wanted to feel that within myself and be okay with that. And the more I said it, the more things started to change. And I'm trying to remember, like, this, the change was just within myself. Things went better. The days became smoother 
everything started to flow better. And wouldn't you know it, after a couple months, girls started coming up to me. Girls started talking to me. Then it really started changing where I really started flirting and everything. And it was going so good. And then during that time, is even when my wife and I talked to her, like, hey, you know what? Yeah, let's do this. We've already done some stuff. We did stuff with girls and we've already done certain things and whatnot. And, like, you know, I want to date other girls. And she's like, well, yeah, you're the man. You're a freaking top tier man. You do what you want, you know? Boom, like that. Everything changed because of that confidence. It started rating it out. The confidence of our relationship. My wife trusted more me. She knew who I was. She knew that I would be fully open with every single thing that I did. We've always been that way. And it helped her become more confident as well. Now, some of you hearing this might go, what, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? I don't want to go too in-depth because it's here on YouTube. I got to watch what I say. I don't want to even curse on here or anything, but... I might have said an F word. I don't know. I can't remember. But confidence in all aspect is key. Goddess, if you were watching this, you might have an SP or a guy that, you know, you're putting him on the pedestal. No, 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 no. Switch that around. You need to be on the pedestal. All my goddess clients. I tell all of them to be a goddess. I teach them how to truly get into that goddess mode. That they are absolutely crushing life. They feel so powerful. It's the greatest thing. My wife is a great example. She is one of the most confident people I know. She's so secure in herself. She's secure in every aspect of her mind. You know, I've never been a jealous person. I've always been very, very confident when it comes to that. Maybe she was a little bit more but she outgrew that as well. And together we both were like some celestial superhero beings together. I'm telling you, our relationship is something else. But both kings and goddesses, you have to feel confident. You have to start believing and then have that belief turn into a knowing. The same thing goes with business. The same freaking thing. I'm out here filming this YouTube my YouTube has grown so much, so fast. I know my YouTube one day is going to have a few million subscribers. I know it's already here. So it is not a surprise to me when it goes up. It's not a surprise when anything happens because I already know it. I'm so confident in myself that I just know it. So I'm out here in the middle of freaking nowhere in my royal purple freaking couch here, in my awesome freaking robe, just freaking chilling like Darth Maul. Someone said I looked like Darth Maul in like a few videos ago. That was awesome. Whoever said that, my friend, you were freaking awesome. You have to be so confident within yourself. And I will tell you this too. Here's another tip to go with that confidence. You have to have no Fs given. No Fs given about anything. The more you realize this whole life doesn't make sense, none of it is fair. Because it, it isn't. Not, none of life is fair. So you shouldn't give an F and you should just enjoy what you can and make a mockery and make a joke of everything. Don't be serious about anything. Enjoy life. The more rules you break, the more social norms you destroy, the happier you will be. And yes, you should be happy. I know Andrew Tate, Alex Hermosi, David Goggins, everyone loves to say, you shouldn't be happy. No one should be happy, especially men. Men should have a life of misery. Well, then you know what? Who wants to hear that? I don't. There are certain things I like about Andrew Tate, but I cannot stand when he keeps saying, men should be unhappy. Men should be unhappy. I love to suffer. I love to suffer. Dude, you don't, come on. You have 50 cars. Look at your life. Come on now. You're happy. Don't tell me you're not happy. So, the more confident you are, the more no Fs given you are, the better your life will be, the more happier you will become, and the more that you will overcome. But you have to attach yourself to this confidence and you have to stick with it. The key is persistence, perseverance, and patience. And each and every day, giving yourself some good affirmations to get you into this confident mindset. My friend, it is 
Very, very freaking hot out here. I got to head out, but I appreciate you being with me today. I love you. I hope this video helped. Make sure to go to my website, manifestofthedonis.com. Sign up to work with me. It's $125 a month. You can not, not afford it. You have to do it. $125 a month to completely change your life. You got to sign up. My friend, I love you. Take care. I shall see you in the next one.